Hey, welcome to another episode of Getting Into Infosec Bytes, short videos under five minutes, reflecting on some of the news and resources out there to help you get into the security field. And so the first thing today is the US CERT. They published the top 10 exploited vulnerabilities that have been exploited by foreign adversaries, keep in mind, but you know, this can be uh, generalized. And um, what we have here is a really interesting list. So they've put together the top 10 things that have been exploited over the past several years. And a lot of them are just really old, you know, just simple Microsoft patches, for example. I really recommend going through this list, uh, go through every CVE, for example, and dig through and see what the severity rating for them for this is. Um, take a look at what happened, how to patch it, uh, what exactly got exploited. Look at the timelines, what's being actively exploited. Um, and then they also added a little addendum for what's being exploited right now in 2020. And during the COVID period, there has been an increase of COVID related phishing attacks and a variety of things. So with everyone home and everyone online more, it's just um, a largest surface area for everyone to attack. So uh, take a look at that, that's really uh, useful. And so um, I'm not gonna dig into all the different exploits that were in vulnerabilities that were mentioned here, um, but it is worth noting a lot of the ones that were mentioned were Microsoft. Now there is one that is interesting here. The Apache stretch vulnerability is a vulnerability that is like the gift that kept on giving. And so it was very ubiquitous in, uh, in one particular major breach and um, if you can comment below on what that breach was, the first person to do that will receive a book from me. Um, and, uh, but you know, this is something that has been really, really prevalent, has been around for a while, um, you know, and, and has yielded a lot of exploits, unfortunately. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And so, um, you know, take a look at all these. These, you know, these have a, a little bit of history. Flash player, I mean, that you know, there's a reason it's become deprecated. So, um, you know, or getting to deprecated. So uh, that's something to take into consideration. Now, another thing that was really interesting is this infographic that was created by the US CERT team. Um, I think, you know, as someone who's trying to get into security, this is really good um, way to see like the whole ecosystem behind what happens with a vulnerability um, from when it's discovered to how it's patched to how it's exploited the underlying ecosystem different ways that it could be discovered you know whether it's through bug bounty or um, you know some other form uh, someone just you know disclosing it in a conference for example and so this is really a good thing to understand um, to look at the whole ecosystem and, and how that works. So I recommend taking a look at this infographic and understand all the different parts that are covered here and uh, really digging deep. You know, this is again something you can do on your own. It, it doesn't cost anything um, and it'll help you um, better in an interview to understand, you know, the whole vulnerability ecosystem and understanding bug bounties and how it's remediated and how important it is um, in the whole scope of things. Um, you know, uh, all together. So that's about it for today. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Again, if you like these videos, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe and let others know about it. So really appreciate it. And talk to you again. Thanks. Bye.